My name is Casey. I've been an Oakland A's fan for my entire life. I chose the A's not only because they're my hometown team, but I really identify with the working mentality that they represent. The A's don't buy top talent. They grow it organically. The A's don't play in a world-class stadium. They play in a concrete jungle in the heart of an industrial complex. A passion of mine is making YouTube videos. It once started as a hobby, but then became a great way for me to connect with others and share my perspectives as a green collar fan. The recent problems with the Oakland A's have inspired me to seek out other perspectives through my platform, people with a presence in the A's community. So I started doing research and having discussions with these people. I wanted to tell a story of why a ball club from Oakland, California couldn't get the respect it deserved and how it was defined by its home and the uncertainty of its future. I hope you can see what faithful baseball fans in the East Bay have gone through in the past couple of decades and why this story has caused fans to worry and feel mistreated. This is the Battle for the Ballpark. I grew up an A's fan. I went to the Coliseum the first time when I was one years old. Uh, and. I've been going to A's games my whole life. Jose Canseco, uh, he was my favorite player growing up. Like I had a mullet and everything. So that was, that's kind of how you describe my fandom, I guess. You know, if you were looking at what the A's mean to the city of Oakland a lot, um, the community impact is big in terms of dollars, obviously, um, but also in terms of like civic pride, generations of fans, like look at you right now. I, I think that it gives everybody a bond. We could probably sit here and talk for like three hours and we've never talked before. And it's all because of that common bond in the A's. I believe the first game I ever attended, any baseball game was in 1982. A's and the California Angels they were back then, uh, because I think somebody along the way, my dad or my mom saved the ticket stub. Uh, so I would have been one years old when that happened. But I, I was born and bred an A's fan, and it obviously timed out with, you know, World Series appearance in 88, victory in 89, and another one in 1990, the heyday of McGuire and Conseco and Stu and Eck and Ricky and Carney and all that stuff. So. My impressionable years of life uh, were spent going to a lot of A's games, so that's where it started at NBC Sports. They just knew my history. One of the things they knew is that I'd done some work with the A's before, had roots there, had some connections there, so they put me kind of on that assignment from the very beginning. With San Francisco, Oakland, and San Jose, you have three major cities that are all combined into this one Bay Area. So I think it gives Oakland its unique identity. It gives the East Bay its unique identity. Um, they've created a proudful identity because of what they do and because of you know, their, their tie geographically to part of our region. A lot of people know me as a Hal the Hot Dog guy. I'm a hot dog vendor uh, at the Coliseum. I really uh, enjoyed the ability of of doing a job where I was vending, but I was also getting involved in inter, you know, interacting a ton with the, with the fans. Yeah, I mean, you know, being in a different colored vest and uh, uh, I started leading, you know, leading chants. Uh, you know, I started getting people to chant about hot dogs first. Uh, and then I started to get chant about the A's. That's just become, you know, just a really fun, Thing for me, and I think a fun thing for A's fans too, hopefully. If you're from the East Bay, if you're from Oakland, you know, it is the last sort of professional team uh, that exists here. The A's are that meeting place where, you know, everyone can get together and chant, let's go Oakland. The A's mean everything to Oakland. I mean, besides the obvious that they're the last team in Oakland, you know, there's there's a lot of Ace fans out there, and they're hidden. They're really hidden, and I see them in different places. Some sometimes uh, in places that you wouldn't expect. I'm just a fan, really. I'm just somebody who spends a lot of time out there. I just want to be, always be a welcoming fan. To everybody wants to come sit out in the bleachers. Uh, we all do as a group, and yeah, just I I enjoy getting to know the players and getting to know the fans, and just enjoy just trying to be an ambassador to the team. I guess in a way, Oakland's lost. A lot of their identity, losing the Raiders, losing the Warriors. I mean, the A's are like the last really true part of that identity. They've been around for 54, 55 years in that city now. You re you lose the A's now, you, that city really does not have much of an identity. Yeah, you have some historical parts of Oakland, things like that. But sports franchises, that, that's something everybody could attach to in somehow, some way. That's like, that's civic pride. You don't want to lose that.